Hi everyone, my name is Anewa Lipiana. I am an advanced diploma civil engineering student at University of South Africa. Today I'm going to take you through my water supply scheme presentation for Tipisa local municipality. This project presentation is submitted in fulfillment of the requirements for water infrastructure and resource management module. List of content to be carried out on this presentation is as follows. We have project brief, locality map, general layout, a methodology where we're going to discuss uh, the methodology used to carry out this analysis. Um, I will take you through the ePanet, which is the software that was used as a design software for the analysis. And we're going to discuss the result obtained, find out if the municipality request was met, and then conclusion. As an advanced diploma civil engineering student, I have been appointed as an engineering technologist to make a water to make an analysis of a water supply project to be implemented by the Tipita local municipality. The project is intended to provide water supply to the full township and in line with its water services development plan, as you can see on my table below, uh, which is average daily demand uh, in liters per second. Here we have our locality map. As you can see down here, we have our Nyangwe River, which is going to be used as the source of water. And then we have our Shikahilo Hill, and then we have our four townships. This is a typical general network layout for the Tepita local municipality. As you can see down here, we have our river, Nyangwe River, and then we have our pipe, which is 650 meters. And then we have our Shikahilo water treatment plant. And then we have the bulk water storage. And then this is the networking. This is the pipes going to each township. As you can see, we have demand center one, demand, cen demand center two, sorry about that. Demand center one, and then demand center three, demand center four. And material or component required for this project analysis includes junctions, which are points where pipes join and it's the place where water enters and leaves. And the input data required for junctions for junctions includes uh, elevation, water demand, and initial water quality, which is not included in this project analysis. And the output data include hydraulic heat and pressure. Then we have reservoir. Uh, on the reservoir are nodes that represent water sources such as lakes, rivers, groundwater aquifers, and the input data required for water for res, water for reservoir in this study is hydraulic head. Then we're going to have water tanks. Uh, water tanks are used to store water and the input properties uh, for tanks include bottom elevation, diameter, initial and maximum water level, and the output properties is the hydraulic head. Then we have pipes. They transport water from one junction to the next, and the output properties include the start and the end nodes, the length diameter and the roughness. And then we have pumps, pumps. And uh, these are links that do not have sufficient energy to move water from one node to the next. The main aim of pump is to increase the energy within the link, which in turn increases the hydraulic heat. The output properties in, for the pumps include the pipe curve, uh, start and the end node. And the output data includes the flow and the head gain. And then we have ePanet. ePanet is the software, I'll say it's the design software that is required uh, for the hydraulic analysis of the network. Before using the ePanet software, there is a preliminary data that is required for the network. The study area and the demands 
required at the nodes needs to be determined. But on this project assignment, we have been provided with the study area. Remember on figure one and two and the demand required at the different nodes. These are the average daily demands for the Depite local municipality. And then for each township, they have been converted from liters per second to meters per second. Okay, here we have our network, Chitipa network on Ethernet. As you can see, it's been constructed nicely. And then here we have our node uh, junctions connected with the pipes. And then here we have our Nyangwe River, which acts as a reservoir, which is the source of the water networks. And then here we have our junctions and then we have our pipes, as you can see. And then the arrows, they show the direction of flow and then we have our pumps, two pumps, as you can see, one, two, and then when you double click on the pumps, the reason why I put my pumps here is because we have obstruction wakes and then uh, so it needs to make the water flow from uh, the source to the treatment plant. And then we have another pump here. Uh, the reason for this pump is because this elevation is lower than this elevation here. When you double click, uh, you can see, sorry, that's a pipe. The, the tank, you can see that we have the elevation of 74 here. And then here at the Shikilo, we can see that we have an elevation of 17. So it needs to, the water needs to flow from here to the side to the bulk storage. So that's why we need a pump here to help the water to flow. <coughs> Another, th okay, we have our demand centers, one, two, three, and four, as you can see. And then when you go, and then each pipe, you can see the length, the diameter, and the roughness. Um, and then when you go to data, then you do your curves, you can see, the curve here, we have a flow as uh, 600 meters per second and the head is 80 meters. And then this is the graph representing the relationship between the head and the flow. Uh, okay, you can see that one. And then you go to, uh, we do patterns. You can see the pattern here, the ratios, demand ratios, uh, they... Demand ratios for 24 hours. You can see the graph here below. And then uh, the time period, it's four hours, which is our step. Okay, we move here. And then we go to graphs. And then when you go to graph, you'd say system flow. And you say, okay, here you're going to see the system flow balance graph. And then this is our produced. And this is our consumed so our consumed, it's lower than the produced, which is good, meaning that the municipality people are getting water. Mm, and then when you run your program, it was run successful because the first time when I ran it the, with the 300 millimeter pipe, with the 300 millimeter pipes, I did not get, uh, my run was not successful. So I had to adjust my pipes. I was getting a negative uh, negative pressure. And then the velocity was too high. And then when you go here, you can see the pressure head. It's not negative. So everything is fine. And then you go again there. You check the network links. And then you can see here our velocity. We don't have... A negative velocity which is good then we can move uh, and then this means that the municipality can adopt our flow yes and then yes everything is in order elevation okay just checking here, 
all right so this is our network uh for the gtp gtp local municipality and this network is being done on epanet as per our project thank you the project study area requires us to adjust our elevation at our physical component as you can see on the table three on this table three um, and you must also know that the outlet from the water treatment plant is five meters below the water treatment plant elevation and therefore the elevation at shikahilo uh, at shikahilo water treatment plant is to be adjusted to 12 meters as you can see on our uh, calculations below as i've shown you on the epanet software the cycle pattern the cycle demand pattern should be 72 hours three days and the pattern changes every four hours um and then as you can see here we have our demand ratios for 24 hours as you can see on the table below uh, we are now going to discuss a result which were obtained from the epanet from running the epanet software the report has been captured for the first four hours this is due to the pattern for error being similar and repetitive over the 72 hour period as you can see on figure two uh, negative pressures occurs at nodes 7 8 and 7 8 10 and 11 uh, thus the analysis terminated at link 3 as there is not enough pressure to transport the water uh, using pressure and gravity therefore we're going to increase the pipe diameters to see if we cannot add pressure at those nodes as i have uh, showed you on the epanet um, yes result following iteration following the initial run of our extended time analysis the pipe diameters were increased to help eliminate the negative pressures within the system the initial analysis assumed pipe diameters of 300 throughout which was not adequate pipe diameters of 450 525 millimeters 750 millimeters and 900 millimeters have been adopted for a successful analysis of the network the demand cycle runs for 72 hours which is three days and the pattern changes every four hours the ratios were repeated every four hours pipe or link result following the successful network analysis of 72 hour cycle the pipe sizes have been adjusted to accommodate the required demand demands taking into consideration the peak demand period the pipe link diameter the pipe links or the the links the links or the pipe sorry about that the links or the pipe plays a huge role in affecting the velocity of the flow through the pipes um, and then we have the equation of calculating the flow which is uh, area times the velocity and uh, this uh, equation shows an uh, indirect proportional relationship between the area and the velocity therefore an increase in our pipe diameters decreases the velocity to the limitation of our provided of provided of 1.5 meters per second or less we have pumping head the pumps used to the system have been used as prescribed and work successfully without any additional configuration the pipe curve is set to deliver 600 liters per second and have a head of 80 meters as you can see on our um, let me open my thing as you can see here and i've shown you this on the epanet software uh, the pipe curve id you put it as one then the curve type it's the pump then we have our flow is 600 uh, liters per second and then the head it's 80 meters this is the graph representing the relationship between the head and the flow tp local municipality also sought out specific information with relation to the recommended water supply network that is proposed 
The following information has been derived for the municipality, which is we have number of pump station required, storage capacity of bulk reservoir, head loss for each component, hydraulic profile for pumping mains and pipe sizes, hydraulic profile for the gravity mains, need for pressure and surge control. Um, yes. Conclusion. The prescribed network by the Shichipim local municipality was analyzed as was proposed initially. The analysis was undertaken using the ePanet software and the material proposed by the municipality. The municipality has recommended that 300 mm pipe diameter be adopted for the links at 12 m high and 34 diameter tank be used for bulk storage and that the system should not should adopt two pumps within a simulation was undertaken based on the municipality recommendation the analysis yield result with negative pressures at the node and therefore deemed the network as not adequate to service the four demand centers an iterative approach was undertaken in which the pipe diameters were enlarged to, el to eliminate negative pressures. The pipe sizes were enlarged from 300 mm diameters to different sizes between 525 and 900 mm. The increase in the pipe sizes also reduced the velocity of flow in the pipe to limit, to limit provided by the municipality 1.5 meters per second or less. The tank remained recommended 12 meter high and the diameter of 34 as it was able to provide enough storage for the system without eight hours of pumping. The two pumps were also sufficient to assist in the extraction of water from the Nyangwe River and to lift the water from the water treatment plant to the water storage tank. Therefore, it is recommended that the Shijipe local municipality all adopt this proposed network and adopt it for the supply of the water for the four township within the municipality. Thank you so much for uh, listening to my presentation. Thank you, thank you, thank you.